What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube fam, YouTube trolls? What's up? Okay. You already know what time it is. It's Wednesday, Real Talk Wednesday, y'all. What's up? Okay, listen, look. Today was nice outside. Oh, girl, listen. Remember last week I told you I guess I'ma just have to be fat for the summer. I still stand by that, okay, because it is what it is. But today is cloudy out there, okay? And I made sure to look at the weather before I decided to take my ass out there. But it was cloudy when I went for a walk, thank God, okay? Me and Pancake was out there. We was chilling. We was, girl, but look, it was cloudy. But when I came back home, my face was the color of this shirt, no lie. When I tell you my face was the color of this shirt, my face was the color of this shirt. But it, at least the sun wasn't beaming on me. I tell you, this morning, I felt like I was struggling to walk. Like, when I tell you, I I feel like I was struggling to walk. When I started out, I swear my left leg was so heavy. It felt like I had been walking in my sleep. I was so like, I don't know what was the problem. I really wanted to turn around and say, you know what the hell with this today? But I was like, nope, just keep on walking. Just keep on walking. But my left leg felt like I had been walking all night. You know how your legs get tired and heavy? Like, cause you've been walking all day or whatever. That's how it felt for me this morning. And sometimes it'd be feeling like that. And that's just due to my CVI, you know, my chronic venous insufficiency, vein disease. So sometimes it'd be like that. And I hate when I feel like that because I just, I just push through. Cause girl, listen, I ain't trying to be crippled. Okay. I ain't trying to be out here. Nobody's walker or wheelchair or nothing like that. A girl needs to be walking. Okay. Period. All right. Cause what if something pop off? Like, you know, zombie pop a Anything can happen, okay? I'm going to need my legs. I'm going to just need my legs. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. I'm just need my legs. But yeah, you guys. So we went out walking this morning, which was good. And then we went to the post office. Then we went to Kohl's. So girl, let me tell y'all. I ordered this little ponytail, this ponytail from Amazon. Now, pictures can be real deceiving. When I tell you pictures can be deceiving, you know, you look at pictures on Amazon or whatever website you're looking at stuff because you want to purchase something, right? Especially when it comes to wigs. And so when, you, when you're looking at them, you really don't know if that person is really the person that's wearing that particular wig on that particular website because you just don't know, okay? You just don't know no more. So for one, I bought this ponytail from Amazon because it looked real cute. It was $45, $49 and it had rave reviews. It had 1,500, excuse me, 1,059 purchases, reviews. Okay. So I was like, oh, okay, let me, let me read the reviews. Now, mind you, it was a cute ponytail. It was one of those wrap ponytails, just like this one where you just wrap it around because I like to wrap it around. I don't really care for the drawstring ponytails too much because they just be so thick okay and, and they're just too thick you can't really wrap them right so i always get the wrap around ones and um and it was of course it was human for 40 45 49 dollars right so the color it had one b and then the, the bottom part was ombre into a color 27 and it looked real nice and juicy and thick on the person who was wearing it right and all the reviews was like oh yeah we love it we love it we love it right now mind you this was a ponytail. It wasn't like women of color was leaving the comments. They just were saying, you know, there was no, I didn't see no women of color leaving no comments. All right. But it was a ponytail. Like, what does it matter if who wears it? Because the hair is all the same, right? They was like, it was thick hair, et cetera, et cetera. And I was seeing they ponytails because, you know, sometimes people include pictures, right? So I was like, oh yeah, she got a thin, she got a thin ass ponytail. Okay. So, but this ponytail looked nice and thick. Let me get this ponytail because I needed it for tonight. You know, we was, we going to a concert, Bryce and Tiller. So I'm like, okay, I want to wear ponies. Look, cause it's, let me tell you something. I'm not about to be wearing no wigs to nobody's concert. I'm not about to glue no wigs. I'm not about to hairspray no wigs on my head. You know, when people are at a concert, they got bodies of people and make it hot in there. And listen, I get hot. I get hot flashes. I get hot in general. It'd be hot out here. I'm not trying to be any hotter than I already am with any type of wig on. So I'll be wanting to wear a ponytail or even a headband wig but more so a ponytail girl let's 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 be for real okay i'm gonna just slick these little edges down and i'm gonna wear a ponytail so i was like oh this is gonna look cute with my little outfit i bought this little skirt from um target um it's like a olive green it's like a cargo skirt but it's a short skirt it's short but girl they got shorts attached underneath you wouldn't even know okay because girl i don't be trusting look i don't be trusting the skirts when they that short okay i'm gonna need i'm gonna need to wear some shorts underneath it or i'm gonna need something to be attached because i'll be trusting the lengths okay i got i got enough back there that no 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 so i was like okay i'm gonna wear that and i have another shirt like this one from target but same shirt but it's like a rust color like a rust color brown you know what i'm saying so it look real nice with the um the skirt and my shoes, my little sandals. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna wear this ponytail. Girl, when I got the ponytail, the box was like this size. When I tell you the box was like this, it was two of these put together. This is how big the box was, well, the ponytail. And it wasn't even this wide up, okay? It was, it was, it was like about, probably like right here, but it was this, this wide, this length, this width, okay? It might've been even 
no i'm giving it too much it wasn't even that it was like this and it wasn't as high up but it was it was this size or whatever so when i got the ponytail and i took it out the amazon box your package i was looking at it you know because i had other things that i had purchased right and i was like well what the hell is this I, and i'm looking at the box and it, it had the name on it and i was like i know this ain't my damn ponytail i know this ain't my ponytail this little ass box that's how i was looking so I, I looked at everything else and then um i opened the box sure enough it was my ponytail okay girl when i pulled that thing out i was like where the rest of the fucking hair where is the hair now I have bought two ponytails from them. You know, Afterpay, baby. You you can use Afterpay on Amazon too. You just gotta use it in the Afterpay app, all right? So I'm I'm like, okay, well my other ponytail not gonna come till Tuesday. That's too late. That's the day after the the, the um concert. I can't do that. And that ponytail was um, reviewed and advertised by women of color. So I know the ponytail gonna be dope, okay? Because I've seen the pictures. But um, yeah, I had to, yeah, I returned that ponytail to, mm-hmm, had to return that little thin ass ponytail. 40, dollars $45, charging me for that ponytail, that little thin piece of ponytail. Like, are you serious? Girl, where's the rest of the hair? That was like one quarter of a ponytail. Where is the the other three quarters of the ponytail? I ended up ordering me another ponytail and it should be here today. Look, where where is my ponytail, okay? Where the hell is my ponytail? Because I'm gonna need that tonight. But other than that, you guys, yeah. So we went to we went to return it at Kohl's. You know what I'm saying? We went to return that little piece of hair at Kohl's. And then I had to go pick up my um I pick up, excuse me, I had to go to the post office and stuff like that. So here we are. Here we we are. We we back. And yeah, my walk was okay. You know what I'm saying? I tried to um, get in as... Girl, I don't even think my ponytail is going to be here. Oh, it said out for delivery. will be here by 10 today, but it's out for delivery right now. So I'm going to need this to be here before 10 o'clock because it's only 11.49 and it's out for delivery. It looks like it's almost here. Yeah, we're going to... Anyway, so other than that, you know what I'm saying? Like I was chilling. It's, it's Monday. Y'all already know it's Monday. And um, the one thing this weekend, I was really, really happy because i did it i finally did it i sat my ass down and didn't do anything all day saturday and all day sunday the only thing that i did on saturday and sunday was sit my ass down in the living room and watch my favorite show in the whole world the walking dead okay y'all listen i know y'all probably like bitch you didn't watch that whole all 11 seasons like 20 times each you're right i did but you can never i can never get tired of something that i really 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 like you know what i'm saying so i sat down i did that and as i was sitting there because y'all know i can't really sit still and do anything and watch tv so i said you know what my bracelets have been selling i've been selling quite a few of them thank you everyone who has been going on the website checking out my made by muff accessories and i said i'm gonna just make some more because i ended up finding the information that i needed to um sell at the vendors event not the farmer's market but there's another civic center in avondale so my daughter helped me find the information for that and so i was able to find that so i said you know what since i've been selling something i'm gonna make some more i haven't made any in a while i don't know what else to do but i'm just sitting here i don't really want to be on my phone so i made some more braces and i made me a set for tonight this is my own set because i really didn't want to take out take anything from what i made i mean i could have but i was just one of my own you know what i'm saying so i made this for myself okay jingling baby yes T little 10 stack these are the these are the thinner beads these are the smaller beads these are the eight millimeter beads i like these better than the um the 10 millimeter beads they're just smaller and they're more comfortable to me and i put four charms on each one of them so you know it's 40 charms so yes i did that and i did that for two days in a row not not make my braces but make other braces and i was just sitting there but anyway you guys other than that you know we got the concert tonight and um i'm just ready for that i'm going to enjoy myself and then i'm gonna come home and i'm gonna take my ass to sleep okay i'm gonna take my ass to sleep because it starts at eight and girl i'll be liking um i'll, I'll be ready to come upstairs and take a shower and get into bed by 8 30 like seriously i'm not going to sleepy sleep but i just be wanting to relax and just watch tv smoke my weed you know what i'm saying play a couple games on my phone maybe more or less color you know that's my thing my downtime at night i like to sit in my bed relax i don't go to sleep until like 11 30 so i'm really actually sitting in my bed for like three hours but i'm relaxing you know i'm tired my legs are tired so i'm just you know settling down and i'll sit there i'll smoke my weed um i will color you know that's my downside i try not to be on my phone so much you know what i'm saying so that's what i do um so i'm looking forward to that i'm looking forward to that so hopefully if my pictures hopefully if my ponytail come out and steal some pictures of my outfit for tonight it's nothing special girl it's just a bryson teller concert i mean like it's in a small venue it's not like a beyonce concert i don't really give a damn whose concert it is i'm not about to go dressing up to be sitting and standing up in the crowd screaming my lungs out i'm not gonna do that i just want to be comfortable so that's what i want to do but other than that i hope you all had like a really great weekend i know i had a couple of emails where do i get the 
um, edge control, edge control. Where did I get the edge control? And someone I did put it in the box. You, it was on their actual website, but I found it on Amazon. Okay, because my daughter Tati wanted to purchase it too because she likes it. She's been using mine. She said this is really good edge control. Your edges be laid down, but girl, list. these are two day old edges. Okay, it's not even hard. Okay, it's not even hard or greasy. It's just perfect edge control. So you can purchase this on Amazon, and it does come with the little travel size one, and also comes with the edge brush, and it comes with the full size one, all for nine ninety nine. I'm correct. I think it might have been more than nine ninety nine on their actual website. But you can get this edge control also on Amazon. And you know what? This edge control been out for a minute because I've seen there's a lot of reviews and a lot of people love it. And it's called Perfect Edge Control. And you know what? This is the best name for it. This has the best name. This edge control is by all means necessary for anybody. I don't care what race you are. This edge control works on any hair texture. It's amazing. Like seriously, when I say it works on any hair texture, it works good on any hair texture. You don't need a lot and you don't need to put a whole bunch of it on every day. It will hold your edges down as long as you put like your scarf or whatever and you sleep with it then you're good but yes these are two day old edges boo and i walked today and i was sweating so okay look at the edges look at the edges the only thing i had to you know tape not tape up but perfect or brush back up is the back part of my nape hairs because you know well i don't have no i don't put edge control back there so yeah but perfect edge control it definitely is i hope my ponytail comes today i really do hope my ponytail comes today but also yeah so i will link it down below for you if i forget to link it it's called our goat a r a r h goat a r h goat perfect edge control it's amazing like this stuff is amazing and you get it for ten dollars and that stuff will last you a minute okay also i wanted to share some products not even some products because it's only it's only one right so I've been using this for a couple of weeks and I'm going to tell you guys, I absolutely love this stuff. I purchased it on Amazon. I think I paid $14 for it because I got the bigger size ounce, which was two. And I only purchased it because you know how you be watching these, um, these, these videos on YouTube and they're just so aesthetically pleasing and it makes you want to start being aesthetically pleasing and using certain things. So this one particular lady that I love to watch, her name is Organized Nikki and um she is just so freaking organized so she has so many different gadgets and some of them may be a little bit much for some people for me i wouldn't purchase all that stuff but i still want to watch her and i still want to purchase the stuff even though i don't need it i, I still want to buy it because i love watching her and so i don't know what it is about her that i love but i love her okay i absolutely love watching her i love her videos i love her organization i love her fucking brown skin so smooth and glowy and dewy oh my god she's just so beautiful and she just so perfect like organized organized to pieces so i watched her and i've been watching her and i see that she uses like different products and on her face and stuff so i was like you know what i want to try these things out so she has these little pink um heart facial sponges they look like paper and you can get them on amazon once you wet them they they puff up to a sponge so i purchased those but i also i don't know what particular brand she was using but i know she uses a lot of different things on her face and her skin is just flawless okay i'm just gonna say that so i was like you know what i'm seeing all these people using this also like hyaluronic acid and i know it's supposed to be really good for your skin and y'all know i only use like certain products on my skin have been for the for forever and i just said you know what i'm gonna just step it up a notch because i want my skin to feel hydrated and plump and out here in arizona it's the desert so sometimes my skin feels very dry like right now my hands feel dry so i have been using this and i do still use this on my face too because they do say to follow it up with a uh, moisturizer but I've been using this pure hyaluronic acid serum by Cosmedia. Uh, that's Cosmedia. Cosmetica, I think that's how you say it. $14. There's different brands, but I found this one after just doing some research and reading some reviews. When I tell you over the past couple of weeks how this has made my skin change, it's just like so like, uh, what's the right word? I'm definitely not going to say clear because it's, but it just looks clear from blemishes, clear from darkness, just just very bright is what it's, it made it is making it look very bright and smooth okay and I love this so I use this twice a day when I wash my face and then you know I'll follow it up with either another serum that I have or this depending on what time of day it is because I love this this is not too thick like the other Nivea that I like to use it's a little bit less um thick so it is great for my skin plus this stuff will stay on your skin so I just wanted to say that's what I've been using and so I'll link it below but it's been making my face 
appear much brighter and just like like clearer and cleaner and refreshed and smoother and so i'm loving it so i just wanted to share that with you guys let you guys know what i've been using i mean you probably can't see the difference on camera but you know it is what it is but also she has like i, I hope i'm saying her name right i'm pretty sure some of you guys know who i'm talking about but i love her she's just she's just so organized and so aesthetically pleasing you know what I'm saying can, can a person really be aesthetically pleasing if they if they ain't then they are now because she definitely is and i love her channel so other than that you guys this video is being sponsored by Shein. okay well excuse me this video is being sponsored by she glam so they did send me some highlighters and i tried them out i do have a video that i do want to post i'm trying to make it into a minute let's see if i can get it to a minute you know what i'm saying but they did send me some of their new highlighters which are really really cute this is their lunar glow highlighters and they sent me four of them i thought they was really cute they are pigmented i did use them and i thought they were really really cute so they come in these little small boxes and so forth and they look like little alien spaceships okay but they are very pigmented there's four that they sent me now i'm not sure if that's all there is but i'm pretty sure that's all there is to the collection and they have like these little imprints of like the plant the planet on them like the moon it's little imprints and they're very they're they're pigmented they're really cute so this one here um this is vanilla frost and i did wear um two of them not the vanilla frost but i'll show you the ones that i did use this one right here is called heart galaxy now this one i did use because it's giving me like that rosy pink color which i absolutely love kind of like to match my blush and you know she glam is really inexpensive and they all have the same little alien ship concept this is the pinkish color one i'm gonna use this finger that's the pinkish one kind of like matches my tank top and i also used this one because it's more or less a champagne color which is called tea cake now this gave me like that you know champagne like color i think like for my, my favorite highlight colors are the champagne and like the peachy pink colors i don't really do too many other colors like those blues or those weird purples i don't do those okay I, I just can't this is the champagne color one and i have this color in so many different brands okay so many different brands like look at that they are really nice they're very nice and then the last one they put it in this cute little green box i guess this is the one that's maybe like the main the main one this one is actually called lunar so this is the one with the nice like decorative box okay so if you're into decorative then and this is like the whitish color one the other one was vanilla frost this one i don't know let's see so this is Vanilla Frost, and I'm not giving y'all a finger, but this is the Vanilla Frost one. This is the first one I swatched, and this one is called Lunar. They kind of look the same, but let's see. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, okay. So this is the one that has like that weird trippy color, like depending on which way you look at it, it could be purple, iridescent colors. This is what this one is. You can see it now. You can see it's got like a purple, bluish hue on it. You know what I'm saying? It depends on how you look at it. But yeah, check out She Glam because they have like this new collection. They have this other new collection that they um, have going on, um, which I'm really excited about. And I'll definitely show you guys that when it arrives. But yes, I'm really excited. I love, I love to get stuff in the mail i don't know what it is but i'm like a big kid i love getting stuff in the mail um and this is what they look like once you you know you, you swatch them onto yourself really they're they're very decent for the price you know what i'm saying so if you're into highlighters and such then check out she glam's new um highlighter lunar collection they always got something new coming out always i'm gonna be giving these highlighters to mumsy because she's trying to build up her makeup collection and so i have enough makeup which ones hey girl which ones did you want to take you can take them you can take them the pink and the gold oh those are the ones i was just talking about how i use those already and those are the colors that i like to use um you don't want this this frost vanilla you should try them out here thank you honey try them because who else i'm gonna give them to so yeah so she was you want to say hi to nobody say hi everybody Oh my gosh, she doesn't want to say hi to you guys because she says she doesn't look good right now. Okay, so anyway, um, so I, I gave them to Mumsy so that she can build up her makeup collection, um, which is cool. I have enough makeup and you know something, I'm going to just be honest. Everything starts to look the same after a while. It doesn't really matter the brand, but if it's the color, the colors start to just all look the same. Of course, it might last a little bit longer or give a little bit better performance. But after a while, when you've seen makeup, you've seen it all, you've seen enough. And you, I'm just like, it's not that I'm over it, but I just really don't, I don't really care about it like that. So, you know, she's trying to build up her makeup collection. I don't, I don't wear like makeup all the time. So I'm not really like, I'm not beat for the makeup thing. So yeah, 
whatever to make her happy. I'm wanting to do the virtual baby shower. My daughter-in-law said the first weekend of June, which I think is like the first of June, if I'm correct. Her baby is due on the fifth and I did want to wait until after the baby was born, but she needs the stuff. So what sense would that make, right? So we're gonna do it the first weekend of June. She is going to be a part of it cause it's for her. And um, it was a surprise, I finally got to tell her. And when she came, oh, well, this is how it went down, okay? She came over for Mother's Day, brought me my little gift, right? In my living room corner, it's nothing but a bunch of boxes. So she's looking and she's like, are you moving? And I was like, no. And she's like, why do you have all those Amazon packages and Amazon boxes over there and you didn't even open them? I said, okay, it's a baby shower. Those are baby shower gifts. And she's like, a baby shower, baby shower gifts? For who? And I was like, for you, it was a surprise. And I didn't think about moving the boxes when she was on her way over. And where was I gonna move them to? The garage, like that would have been, I wasn't about to do all of that. And I just didn't think about it. So she was like a surprise, a virtual baby shower. So then when I told her and I told her everything, she was all happy, it looked like she was about to cry, wanted to tell everybody thank you. And I was like, well, now that you know, now that you know. So we wanted to do the baby shower at the first weekend of June. So hopefully we can make it to that point and um, it'll be a virtual. I would definitely make sure to link everything and just keep you guys updated because I know it's about to be the first weekend of June. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted. But yeah, so she knows the cat's out the bag. That is right. The cat is out the bag or is it the hat is out the bag? Which one is it? Because you know that old saying the cat is out the bag. I think it's the cat is out the bag, not the hat is out the bag. Now that she knows, um, I wanted to do it like the first of June so that way she can bring her stuff home because she's going to need the stuff. I didn't even think about it like that. Thank you to everyone who has donated to the baby registry. Thank you so much. We deeply, greatly appreciate it. I will definitely link it down below. So for those of you guys who want to purchase something for the new baby to come, then you may do so. It's all on Amazon. It's the Amazon baby registry. And just thanks in advance for everyone who has donated. And thank you for those who will. I appreciate you guys all for the love and support. Regardless of the baby shower, I just appreciate you guys all all as just a family, you guys are here, okay? So I wanna just say thank you to everyone. And we are gonna get into this Real Talk. So we do have two Real Talks today, and let's get into it. You already know the deal. If you want a Real Talk about you, you can send me an email to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com. Please put in the subject line Real Talk, or you can also send it to aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. Please also put in the subject line Real Talk. If you would like for me to mention your real name in the video or change the names, please let me know so as you send me the email other than that let's get into this real talk y'all All right, guys, let's get into it. Not sure if she's really a good friend, okay? And that's how it started off as her title. Hey, Diva April. First, I want to say thank you so much for bringing back Real Talk. I love your wig videos, but Real Talk has always been my favorite on your channel. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you also for reading this email, and I hope and pray it finds you well. You can call me Donna for this video and my so-called best friend, Annabelle. To make a long story short, Annabelle and me have been friends for a smidget over four years. We met at this job fair event and been tight ever since. We live about 20 minutes from one another, so we always see one another, especially on the weekends. We will spend the night over each other's house. Neither one of us have children, but I sure would love a couple of them later on down the road when I find Mr. Wright. We are both in our mid-30s. So anyway, I consider Annabelle my best friend. I do have other friends, a few, but she and I are so relatable to one another. Well, we go out a lot with each other to eat, to the club, etc. But I always feel like she'd be putting me on the spot. Like what I mean is we will be out in public and she seems like she likes to try and embarrass me by doing dumb shit. Like go up to random dudes and tell them I'm interested in them. Mind you, these men are ugly as sin and now I'm put on the spot to turn them down. 
She will then laugh about it, thinking it's hilarious. I have told her countless times to stop playing with me when it comes to men. There was another time in public when she thought it would be funny to pull my damn wig off. She literally yanked it off. I should have had that sucker glued down, April, or used the cones because she pulled it off as we were in public at a local mall. She busted out laughing along with other strangers staring at us and pointing. When I tell you I was so humiliated, I fought back the tears and told her about herself later on. She tried to say she was only playing around, but April, I didn't find it funny at all. There have been times we both agreed to go out and eat. I was left stuck paying the bill because she didn't have any money. Not only just these things, but she doesn't have a car currently due to an accident. So I have been giving her rides to and from work, but I haven't gotten a dime for gas money and times are hard. April, I want to remain her friend, but do you think she is a good friend? What do you, what would you do if you had a friend like this? Thank you, Donna. Now, first of all, let me just say this. So it's Donna and Annabelle. She done named her friend after that fucking possessed dog. Isn't that dog's name Annabelle? Yes, that possessed dog. She done named Donna the name her best friend after that possessed dog Annabelle. Okay. And so that right there goes to show you how she think about her friend. But she want to know what would I do if I had a friend like this? Because she want to remain her friend. We already know my friend's situation would happen. You know what I'm saying? I had to let her go because she was just saying smart shit, come in my house, saying a couple smart things about my mural to my son, about regard to my son. And she just was saying a little smart things here and there. And I let it go but i did say certain things to her and i did let her know about herself on two or three different occasions after a while i'm not gonna keep telling you you're not gonna keep trying to sun me or talk to me any old type of way because i'm not having it now here's one thing donna there's no way on god's green earth would i allow anybody to pull my fucking wig off in public okay we all know it's the wig everybody wear wigs these days no big thing but that's an embarrassment and while you trying to ridicule me and make me look stupid in front of everybody I don't know if that were me if somebody was to pull my wig off in public i don't really know i can't tell you how i would react because it hasn't happened but i'm pretty sure my reaction would not be cool calm collective laughing it off okay girl you might have to taste this knuckle sandwich straight up because my reflex my reflexes on certain issues are is is more or less like I'm tapping you. When I say I'm tapping you, it's not like this, honey. I'm tapping you. I'm tapping you in your face. I'm tapping you in your jaw. I'm tapping you upside your head. You understand what I'm saying? So that's my reflex. So I don't know if, if I had a friend that did that to me in public, I would probably really be angry. And the first thing that I probably would have done would have been to cuss her out and probably hit her. And that's just a reflex. Not saying that it's a good reflex, but that's just a reflex of how I would have handled the situation. And what would I do if I had a friend like this? So you already spoke to her. You told her about her stuff. You've already spoke to her. And she's still doing these things. First of all, honey, let me tell you this. You have, have you said anything to her about the gas money? Because you said you haven't gotten gas money, a dime. It seems like you haven't asked. If you haven't asked her for gas money, then you need to ask her for gas money when you're bringing her to and from work. Some people don't have common sense as to offer um, finances for rides here and there. Some people just don't have that common sense. Some people feel like because you're friends with them, you're best friends with them, that they're, I don't really want to use the word entitled, but they feel like because you guys are friends that they are entitled to get a ride here and there without any type of reimbursement of funds. So some people don't have that common sense. Now, yeah, you might've picked her up once and did it. That's no big thing. But if you pick it up every day and you bring her to work, then yeah, we're going to need some type of gas funds over here. Let's put a cup in your car and it says for the gas okay Let me, i'm just saying you need to speak up honey donna this is your friend if you want to remain friends with her there's nothing wrong with wanting to remain friends with someone but you have to put boundaries okay you have to put boundaries and you have to speak up for yourself now that was the problem in my relationship friendship because i felt like if I would have had boundaries and just like really set them out there instead of having to tell you about yourself later on, then maybe you wouldn't have did these things, you know what I'm saying? But I really didn't feel like as a grown up and you in your 50s and I'm going to be 50 in June, okay? I didn't really feel like I needed to tell you how to respect me as a person or how to speak to me as a respectable person. I really didn't feel like I needed to tell you that because we both grown. So sometimes it's like, do I really need to put out the boundaries there to this person? Because like, seriously, this is just common sense. You should know this already, but a lot of people are not aware of certain common things so therefore you have to point it out to them so your friend annabelle she might not really be aware that she's supposed to give you money for your ride but it's uh, it's on you donna it's on you to tell her so okay 
It is. Now, if it were me and you were giving me rides, I'm damn sure going to offer you because I have the common sense. Because you know why? You're not getting in my fucking car every day while I'm bringing you to work every day. You're not giving me no gas money. You crazy. And you didn't say y'all work together. Okay, so I don't think they work together. So now you're picking her up. Y'all live 20 minutes away from one another. So you're driving 20 minutes to pick her up. Then God knows where her job is. And God knows how far apart your job is from hers. So it's kind of a big inconvenience, if you ask me. It's a big inconvenience. However, if you're the friend that you are and you're the good friend that you are, well, then you know what? That's great because there are not a lot of friends left like you in this world. However, just because you are that friend does not mean that you have to be used as a doormat, baby. Okay? Don't nobody want to be nobody's doormat. You need to speak up for yourself and you need to tell Annabelle, listen, girl, I'm going to need money for gas. At the end of the week, can you please give me money for gas for the following week, for the week coming up? That's how, as long as you're riding her to work, then you need to get money at least a week in advance or that week. You know what I'm saying? So that way her share is paid. 20 minutes to pick somebody up is, is crazy. I wouldn't even do it. I don't give a damn how good we friends. I, I mean, I, I'm wrong for saying that. I probably will because 20 minutes is not that long. I saw I probably would bring my friends to work, but I can't keep bringing you to work and you not giving me gas money because that's eating in my pockets. And here it is, you working just like me and you got all your money, but I'm spending extra because I got to pay for gas to come pick your ass the fuck up. No, you need to speak up for yourself. Now, as far as the wig and humiliation in public, now one thing it is to humiliate and ridicule somebody or think something is funny and just joke or, you know, prank, prank on someone or just get giggles and laughs over someone. But are you being harmless about it? Now, this is one thing I don't play with. Don't run up to no random ass men talking about I like them or I want your number. Don't do no shit like that because that's real disrespectful. And here we got Donna saying that Annabelle be running up to random dudes, random men asking or saying basically that Donna is interested in them and these men are ugly. You know, to each his own. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say because the men are ugly don't do that. I'm just saying don't do that in general. Like, I don't give a fuck how they look handsome as ever or ugly as ever don't do that in general like that's childish who the hell is doing that in their mid-30s like some of y'all women really need to grow the fuck up like seriously some of y'all really need to grow up and i mean this in the the nicest fucking way possible that i can mean it but some of y'all really don't got y'all shit together some of y'all really need to stop with the drama and bullshit some of y'all really need to grow the f up like straight up okay who is running up to random strangers in their 30s talking about my friend is interested in you and she's not like who's playing these games first of all it's way too dangerous out here to be playing games like that because some men take it serious and they'll pop off on you and when i say pop off i don't mean like arguing i mean pew pew like that pop off okay you see how men be acting all mad and weird if they don't get your phone number okay they'll cuss you out they'll threaten you girl you gotta just give them the phone number and just block them give them the phone number and just block their ass that's that's what the fuck you gotta do but running up to men random men strangers and saying how you're interested in them that's a total huge disrespect like i want a good friend i who don't want to have a good girlfriend that they can hang out with giggles and laughs party and just enjoy life with you know what i'm saying who don't want to be like a thelma and louise okay but with a thelma and louise there comes respect and boundaries and i'll be damned if i'm going to allow any one of my friends run up to some random men in public and tell them that i'm interested in them i don't know how i would take that i would be pissed you know what i would be really pissed and it actually already happened to me all right remember that time you guys when i went to the blue i think it's called the blue martini lounge in scottsdale with my four friends Okay. And it was really crowded in there. Like I hadn't really been to a club in a minute, but it was crowded in there. It was nothing but standard room. So, and then there was some seats in the, in the back. So anyway, my friend Tay, she sees this guy and she know how much I think 50 cents is the most handsomest man in this world. When I tell you he handsome, he fucking handsome man. 50 cent I'm talking about. So she sees this dude and he had to be like, I'm 49. He had to be like late thirties. Like, first of all, cause you know, you can just tell. And so it was hot in there. He had on like this turtleneck type of sweater and like this big chain or whatever. And he was my height. She going to talk about, look at him. He looked like 50 cents. I was like, no, he don't. No, he doesn't. And she was like, I'm going to introduce you to him. And I'm like, no, you're not. No, you're not. Girl, please tell me, me and my friend Tiff, we was dancing. And then we came back. Please tell me why she walked over there with dude. Tiffany looked at me and I looked at Tiffany and then I looked at dude and she was like introducing. I was like, hi, how you doing? With an attitude. Like, I, I didn't mean to come off like that. But first of all, I, I already told you, don't bring him over here. He don't even look like 50 cents. And I don't give a damn if he did look like 50 cents. He ain't 50 cents. And I'm not interested. Okay. She brought him over there and he was all standing in my face 
with a mouthful of gold teeth and I just was like, hi, ain't you hot with that sweater on, that sweater turtleneck? That's all I said, okay? And he was looking at me like, no. And then I was like, oh, okay. And then I turned around, looked at Tiffany and walked the fuck off, okay? When I walked the fuck off with Tiffany, we went outside and I was pissed the fuck off. And I had to let Tiffany know, why the fuck did she just drag this dude over to me and try to introduce me to this youngin? Okay, because he's like in his 30s. Why does she bring him over to me? When I tell you I was pissed the fuck off, I was pissed the fuck off. And you know what Tiff said? She was like, yeah, she do that. She's done that before. She ain't never did that to you when y'all went out? No, never. She's like, no, she's done that to me quite a few times. Well, I don't need you hooking me up with no fucking body. I don't need you trying to give my number out or try to give me a man. I didn't like that shit at all. And when I tell you I was pissed the fuck off, I was pissed off. Like, he wasn't an ugly dude. He wasn't an ugly young man. He wasn't ugly. But first of all, if I told you no, I meant no. I could find my own fucking man if I really want one you know what I'm saying it ain't that hard okay my face card is not denying like I am not an ugly ass woman but when I tell you I say no don't do that shit don't do that shit but she did it anyway so I was pissed off even though the situation is a little bit different it still is the fucking same like don't do shit like that to people I'm gonna tell you what Donna you need to let her know about herself and just do it in the most professional way you can because some people take it a little bit too harsh but then it's that's how you find out that's your friend or not if she take it real bad and she want to start cussing you the fuck out and and going off then you realize and you know for a fact that that's not a friend that you really need to have you shouldn't have a friend that looks towards ridiculing and humiliating you just for their own pleasure all right that's one thing i don't do i'm not about to be ridiculing or humiliating somebody for my own fucking pleasure or for some fake ass foolishness we don't do stuff like that as grown women so i wouldn't like it at all and if you was to pull my fucking wig out in public girl listen i don't know what the hell i'm gonna do because it's a reflex but i hope the best for you that's all i can say if you pull my fucking wig off in public i hope nothing but the best for your ass so by the time i finish with you whether it be a verbal lashing or a physical lashing i hope nothing but the best for you period so to me i can't really say if she's a friend that i would want to have but i do know this from past experiences of friends there are things that i do not fucking like and if you don't say nothing about it trust me that person is going to continuously do shit that you don't like so you have to put your foot down stop fucking paying the bill when y'all go out if y'all both agree to go out to eat then that means y'all both agreed to pay for your own shit now i get it you don't want to leave your friend stranded and hanging like that but she kind of left you stranded and hanging too by leaving you with the bill she don't know what you got going on she don't know if you got to pay a bill uh uh um, a house bill rent whatever she'll know if that money that was for her food put you in a compromising situation she just don't fucking know this is what i be talking about with people people don't have no boundaries people don't have no decorum people don't have no self-awareness and people don't have no common sense towards other fucking people and then it sucks when you that when you have to tell them about themselves they stand there and they look at you like they mouth open they jaw drop they they like they confused they like well what did i do what the fuck did you do what didn't you do if you got a friend and you want that person to be your friend for long term, there's certain shit you're going to have to nip in the bud. And I mean that with the kindest heart that I can tell you. I'm, you're going to have to nip shit in the bud. When we are an adult, we should know things by now. We should learn from our mistakes. We should learn from growing up. We should learn from community. We should learn from life issues. We should just learn and we should know common sense things, right? Not everybody is equipped with those mind frames and those thoughts. So we have to let people know. Even as a mid 30, mid 40, person 50 year old person we still have to let people know like listen this is not what you do this is not how you handle yourself this is not how you go about doing things and it's unfortunate but i'm going to tell you guys what there are people that are our age who really don't know how to conduct themselves like our age and when i say this it's true as a grown-up some of us grown-ups really don't have the mind frame to be self-aware have common sense have respect and no boundaries we have to tell people that. Donna, if you've said stuff to Annabelle on multiple times and she continuously does this, then it's time to distance yourself. And sometimes distancing ourselves is better than just going off on a person. I point period blank will tell you about yourself and it might not be the best at always I might not be I might not be calm about telling you depends on the situation but I try to let a person know about themselves and how they've made me feel and I do this because if I don't you just gonna continually do the same dumb shit to me and I'm just gonna get pissed the fuck off and why I get pissed the fuck off when I could just say something now the next time she tries to do some dumb shit to you then what are you gonna do you might just go off and spaz the fuck off no sweetheart let her know time ahead listen I don't appreciate you ridicule me in public if y'all are gonna go out somewhere let her know listen annabelle when we go out don't don't embarrass me and that's all you gotta do 
if you want to continue be her friend then continue to be her friend but put boundaries and let her know you're putting boundaries and let her know what you like and don't like and let her know what you expect as a friend and what you don't expect that's that's all there is to it and let her know when y'all go out next time we both need to pay for our own bill. It's called Dutch. Bitch, I'm not dating you, so therefore I don't have to pay your meals. You pay for your own meals and I'll pay for mine. I know time is hard, sweetheart, but I'm gonna need gas money because bringing you to and from work is gas that is being taken from my vehicle and I need to replenish that. So therefore I would appreciate it if you can contribute at least such and such amount every week. Now look, I was gonna give you a, a price Donna, but listen, I, it ain't my car. And so who am I to say how much she need to give you in gas? That's on you, but I would definitely say something. Let Donna know what y'all would do in the comments, okay? Let her know. Mm -hmm. Now y'all know, I be trying to tell y'all that I'm buying my business. When I say I mind it's my business, like I, I really be trying to mind my business. Like some of y'all probably don't think so because I do real talks and stuff like that. So y'all probably don't think that I don't mind my business, but reality, I always try to mind my business. So I forgot to take my blood pressure today. I gotta take my blood pressure after this. So we're gonna go on to the second video. And regardless, re the reason why I said I be trying to mind my business is because this young lady, what she wrote me now, this isn't my business, but she wants to know, should she tell, okay? Hey, Miss April, so I have a question. If you saw your aunt's husband out cheating on her, would you say something? My name is Jules and I am 25 years old. My aunt is my mother's younger sister, whom is in her 40s. My aunt has been married to her husband about 10 years, and I remember a bunch of people in our family warning my aunt about marrying him because he ain't no good. They don't have any kids together, just pets. Her kids are grown and out of the house. Those are her kids, not his. So I was out grocery shopping a couple weeks back and was sitting in my car in the parking lot, getting ready to pull off, and a car pulled in the spot in front of me. So I was behind them and could see in through the back of their car. I knew the car looked familiar, plus the tags were customized, so I knew it was my aunt's husband. There ain't no tint on his window, so I was looking right in the back of the car. He backed into the spot. April, I thought it was him and my aunt in the car, as I could see them embracing one another, you know, kissing and hugging. So as they opened their doors to get out, I was about to open mine to greet them when I realized the lady who got out was not my aunt. Thank goodness I ain't get out so they didn't notice me. But he came on her side of the car and grabbed her hand, smacked her on the ass, smiled, hugged her, and kissed her again. And they walked off holding hands through the parking lot into the grocery store. I was so tempted to get out the car and spy on them. I did record the part of him walking over to her side to grab her up and their interaction with one another. I have not shown this video to anyone, but I am tempted to say something. My aunt is an amazing woman and doesn't deserve to be treated like this. I honestly want to go over to their home and confront him in front of her, but I don't want to ruin anyone's relationship. Should I mind my business or destroy what they have? Thank you in advance. Hoo So I like to mind my business. Most of the time, I just really try to mind my own business and stay out of anybody's relationship, stay out of anybody's situationship i just try to mind my business and now when y'all write me stuff like this it's very confusing because it's like what do i do now jules is 25 her aunt is in her 40s her aunt has been married to this guy for 10 years the family has been warned jules aunt not to marry this dude because he ain't no good they've been married for 10 years no children together just pets her aunt has grown kids that have been moved out now her aunt is actually her mom's jules mom's younger sister you know something you got them on record. You got them on video. You, you saw it for yourself. It's one thing to just see something and not have proof of it or hear something and not really have solid proof of it. You know what I'm saying? Because you can say all day that I've seen this and I've seen it with my own two eyes. That other person may not believe you because they don't really have no solid proof. You're not the solid proof for them. They could believe what you say. They cannot believe what you say. It just depends on what you're showing them. But here it is, Jules. You have solid proof. You have a video recording. Now, that's your aunt. She's an amazing woman and you would want her to be nothing but happy here's my thing sometimes we do really need to mind our business because it's not our life however there is someone that you can talk to about the situation which is your mother okay and now your mother knows your aunt more and way better than you do because that's her sister all right so if i had to say anything to anybody i'm gonna go say it to my mother because they are siblings and they're in the same age bracket and i think that it would be best for your mother to say something to your aunt versus you you understand what i'm saying i would definitely show my mom the evidence that i had and then i would leave it up to my mom to help me decide on what to do because that's her sister and as a family unit i really think that you should entrust your mother's say so and speak to her first 
Also, I feel like you should speak to your mother first because if you go and meddle into your aunt's affairs without saying something to your mother, you might disappoint or upset your mother. And that's your mom. So I would definitely go to my mom first. It's unfortunate that you had to witness this, but you know something, God puts us in places for reasons. There's always a reason for something. It's not by coincidence. It's just not because we were put in place for a reason. God put us places for a reason. And maybe it was supposed to happen that way. Maybe you were supposed to see. However, just because what you saw doesn't mean you have to be the messenger. You understand what I'm saying? Me personally, if that was me, and that was my sister and my, my kids. See, I would want them to come back to me and say something. So that way I could talk to my sister myself. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my sibling. And they're both in the same age bracket. They're siblings. So even though it's her younger sister, I'm pretty sure they're not that far apart. That's her sibling. So she knows her way better than Jules does. But it's unfortunate that you had to witness that. And what would I do? Like, you're not ruining or destroying any relationship, Jules. First of all, I want to just tell you that. You're not destroying or ruining anybody's relationship just because of the evidence that you have. Don't feel like you're destroying someone's relationship that don't really give a fuck he actually pulled up in the car with this woman and took her grocery shopping because he's driving his car and he pulled up with her so who's grocery shopping either her or him or the both of them either way you saw what you saw could you imagine if his wife accidentally pulled up and i and i say accidentally because well, no, nah, it ain't no accident. Like I just said, we put here for a reason. So could you imagine if the wife was to have pulled up in that same parking lot or, you know what I'm saying, walked in the grocery store and saw that? Could you imagine that? Could you imagine? Like, I couldn't imagine that. What if you did get out the car, Jules, because you thought it was your aunt and you went to greet them? What would you have said? Like, really? I think me personally, if that was me in Jules' shoes and I sat there and then I almost got out the car... All right, what if I did get out the car and, and witness that? I think I would be so embarrassed. Secondhand embarrassment, self-embarrassment. I just really wouldn't know how to react to that. I probably would start cussing the both of them out. Like, literally, I would probably start cussing the both of them out. Her and him. Because sometimes people be like, oh, she don't know. The woman don't know. Don't 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 say that. Don't act like the women don't be knowing when they, as they decide chick. A lot of them know they decide chick and they just want to be decide chick. Okay. So that's why I said, if it were me, I probably would have got out and cursed the both of them the fuck out. Okay. But in this whole situation, you have video. I would show the video to my mama. I would. I know you're a grown ass woman. You're 25 years old, but you know what? I would show that to my mother. You don't really need to put your input in it. The video is all the input that's needed. Okay. Like literally you don't have to say, oh, well, I saw them do this. You don't have to, you don't have to say anything because the video is saying it the video is saying everything the video don't even need no words the video don't even need no sound okay all we need is the visuals from the video the video don't even need no sounds just the visuals okay so there it is there is the proof and there is the pudding jewels take that to your mother and let her know what you've seen talk to your mom first i would talk to my mother that would be the person that i would talk to i would go to my mother i'll be like listen I, there's something that i've been wanting to show you but i i really didn't want to feel like i was meddling but this has been bothering me so i just need to show you this and just show her the video give her the phone and let her see the video that's all you gotta do honey that's all you have to do point blank period you don't have to go up to your aunt you don't have to go and feel like you're disrupting the relationship you said your family was warning your aunt for years, not you, because they've been married for 10 years, which would have made you 15 when they got married. So you weren't the one warning her. It was your family members. So therefore, let your older family members handle it. OK, you was just there for the reason for the season. God put you in a place for one particular reason. And that was what you was there for. Now you give that message to your mother and she will be able to relay it to your aunt. That's it. But I, I would hope. Jules, that you don't feel like you ruined someone's relationship because in all reality, you did not. All I say is I will give it to my mother and I will allow her to handle it. But I wouldn't feel, I, I really honestly wouldn't feel like I ruined somebody's relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because he the one at the grocery store with the lady. Now, it's a good thing that you didn't go in and follow behind them because you don't want to do that. You did enough. What you saw and what you recorded was more than enough. Thank God, though, that he backed up in... He backed up into the spot so that way you guys wasn't, you know, windshield to windshield looking at one another. Because then that would have been like the most awkward situation right then and there. So it's a good thing that he backed up into the spot and you were able to record and you were able to realize this is not my time to get out. God forbid that you would have gotten out and probably felt embarrassed. I'm pretty sure I would have felt embarrassed. But 
you were in a place where you were supposed to be. And now the next step is to speak to your mother about it. That's your mother's sister. Let her handle it from there. Don't ever feel like what you did to somebody's relationship was ruining it when that other person is out there ruining it themselves. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I do like to mind my business. I, I, I don't, I really don't try to be in anybody's relationship at all because it's not my business. Um, however, I just feel like some things you have to handle differently regardless if you are the messenger or if you are the one that has to prove sometimes you have to go to diff do different routes just to get your point across you understand what i'm saying so i just really feel like jules would benefit more if she was to go and speak with her mother regarding the situation regarding her aunt's um jezebel husband okay because that's what the fuck he is a jezebel running the streets running around cheating and shit okay loosey goosey a whore a man whore whatever you want to call him he's doing he's all of those so i would definitely allow my mother to handle the situation since family has already been warning her about her husband i would definitely leave this in my mother's hands and hopefully she can speak to your aunt but i per se wouldn't say anything about it myself only because the family has been warning her for years and they know a lot more than you do sweetheart so give it to your mom and let her handle the situation with your aunt and don't kick yourself down and please don't feel bad about it don't feel like you destroyed somebody's relationship when in reality it was them okay so you guys i hope this video finds you all well i hope you all have like an amazing day whenever you're watching this i guess i'll have to get ready now i'm looking for my ponytail like i mean not get ready but you know i'm gonna try to edit this video before the day is up and that way i am able to get dressed later on and do my ponytail i know my ponytail better hurry can come okay my ponytail better get here quick fast in a hurry but yeah i'm not really gonna put any makeup on because it's hot and i'm not about to be dying in heat but anyway i hope you all have like an amazing day thank you for staying too stay diva and devolicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up um and i will see y'all in the comments